I'm Sutapnap, and this is Thumper. If you cut this game, it's provided by the developer. I'm playing the PS4 version, um, not in VR. I have, I'm getting a PSVR, but it's, it's just a review. It's not a review unit, so it comes Thursday. Uh, I do want to, I'll probably do another video of this in VR, maybe. Um, so if you haven't heard of Thumper, shame on you. Um, this is a, they describe it as a rhythm hell game. It's got this lovely surreal art and it's really best better seen than explained. So we'll just we'll just play it. That's right, Parker. I've only played level one and a bit of level two so far. I'll probably be a little rusty. Um But I uh I really like this from what I played. I, I knew the aesthetic would be totally me. Um there's some horror elements, as you might already be noticing. This is not like jump scare stupid stuff, but it's like this really weird... It just has this vibe that I adore. And I don't tend to like... Aw, oh, crap. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not in my rhythm mood. That's, that's my excuse. But it goes easy on you for the... You know, it, it, it eases you in pretty well. So... There's gonna be times where it's gonna be hard to talk, unfortunately. Um, rhythm games are hard to do, like, li with live commentary. Um, but yeah, what I played, I really liked, and it... It does a really great job of... Oh, of, um... Uh, weaning it into the mechanics. And I'm probably gonna be quiet whenever there's important stuff going on. Cause it's just hard to get in, like, hard to focus. Um, all rhythm games are kind of like that. But yeah, this... I played level one of this, and I was... Just mouth agape, like wow! Like, all right. Like, I just, I absolutely adore the aesthetics and what's going on, and I can't wait for the VR version. I, uh, like I was trying to say earlier, I don't usually get too into the rhythm games. Like, they tend to be really hard, and like, like they put on this facade that, like, oh, they're they're cutesy, they you know, they're casual. It's like, no. You failed. You missed a single beat in this 3,000 beat song. You get an S. You get an F rank, and it's like. Uh, but this just—I wouldn't call it chill. It's not chill. You might have guessed that from you know just taking a look at it. Uh, but it's just, it just feels so good. I, I can't quite describe it. You just get in this mood, and and like I said, it does such a good job of easing you in, even for you know rhythm hell. And the VR version, I can't wait for it. It's, oh, this game really solidifies my desire for that PSVR. I will be playing some PSVR games um, as soon as I can. I've got a bunch of stuff requested. I should be able to check out uh, not really the whole launch lineup, but um, I should be able to check out a decent chunk that uh, looked interesting to me personally. But uh, I was just really stunned by just the visual look, the the visual look as opposed to you know, the auditory look. It's just... I really wish AAA did stuff like this. Can you imagine if instead of like brown concrete textures for, you know, a bombed out city street, you know, AAA artists were making stuff like this, like... AAA doesn't look like it does because the artists are bad. There's amazing people making AAA games. But, you know, they gotta make, you know, what marketing, what what the CEOs want them to make. And that's, you know, super grit, realistic, McShoot Bro gun shoot games. And, you know, some of that's fine. You know, I, I enjoy, I'll enjoy a shooter once in a while. But the variety is definitely lacking a rank. I think I messed up that last beat. All right. I really like how the game, like, a lot of other games just press the buttons and it just uh, throws a bunch of buttons at you on screen. And this game, it's like, there's an action you're actually performing with each of the things. It feels so organic and I really like it. And it's, but it's no less musical. Like, it, it starts out pretty simple, but you, you can, like, You can hear it. You can feel like the actual music stuff. It it just works, and it gets more complicated as you go on, as you're already seeing. The game does a really good job of introducing new mechanics, like not 
too slowly, but not not so fast you get overwhelmed. Not so fast that I get overwhelmed, and I'm not good at these rhythm games. I uh, I tried to play Rudy Mikkel, the Dark Witch, Legend of Dark Witch music game, because I really love that series, and I wanted to play more of it. I'm really bad. I beat all of the levels on easy mode, kind of barely in a couple of cases, and the harder difficulties for some levels are just... I can't do it. But uh, I've, I've been really enjoying this. And it seems like a game where, like, you can die in this game, um, but it's mo it's usually just, you don't get quite perfect, is what happens. And, you know, you won't get the S rank, you, can, you still gotta play basically perfect for the S rank, but you don't have to get the S rank to proceed, and that's... I don't like when I feel like I'm hitting roadblocks in a rhythm game that I'm really enjoying. Or that I'm not really enjoying, but like... There's nothing worse than that thing where it's just like, nah, you can't finish this song, you're not good enough. It's like, how freaking rude. Like, Bullet Hell Games will let you finish the level. You can credit feed, you can finish the level. I, they're, they're not gonna take that away from you. But, like, super cutesy kawaii desu rhythm games. Uh, no, you, you missed two beats in a row? You, you're out of here, pal. But, uh... As it gets more intense, I might have to talk a little less. Yeah, I'm super excited for the VR version of this. I'm super excited for this version of this. Um, th this is on PS4 and PC. It, it is out today. It's out early, which I'm pretty surprised. It was supposed to come out the same day as PSVR. came out a little early. Uh, if you don't have a VR headset, don't worry. If you're going to get a VR headset soon, um, I mean, you can play it before you get the VR headset. I'm really enjoying it um, like this. I'm definitely gonna play it again once I get the, the PSVR. That's right, Parker. I would definitely say get it on whatever platform you're planning to get VR on if you care about VR. Um, oh, and spec-wise, this game is really impressive. So on PS4, uh, PS4 Pro, damn it. Um, on PS4 Pro, this game renders at 60 frames per second at 4K, and it renders at 90 frames per second on PSVR. Um, I'm pretty sure that's just on a normal PS4, like, I don't know if any games are PS4 Pro yet. At least I think that's what, that's the way I read it on Twitter. It, it might be 90 FPS on PS4 Pro. I'll, I'll ask that and uh, toss that in the description or a comment if I figure that out, but uh, I'm super excited for this in PSVR. And it plays in 60 frames per second, of course, on a normal PS4. Just at 1080p. I'm super excited. I've got... I've already got a couple other games from PSVR, but I can't... I don't have my PSVR. I love these boss fights. And so that last... After you get a hit off, you get the opportunity to... Uh, to uh, heal if you make that beat, damn it. And not every missed beat hurts you. There's only certain things that'll hurt you. Um, damn it. Like only colliding into certain things will hurt you. Oh, dang it. Yeah, that's not my turn. Yeah, I love the horror aspects. I really love game, like horror in games that are not like trying to be like mega spooky like it's obviously an intent to have some more elements in here but but it's like it's not jump scare spooky oh fuck i was i was scratching the back of my head never scratch the back of your head in a rhythm game you can scratch your head while you see that little score thing pop up. That means you got a few seconds. All right, it's boss time. Final or er, sector final boss time. And we haven't seen all of the game's tricks yet. Oh, man, I love that background. The, the, the feeling of this game. It's like it's like fighting the ending of 2001: Space Odyssey. If 
if you get perfect all the way through to that flashing one, that's when you do your attack. There's no attack button, you just you hit the beat. Ah! That's what happens when you take damage. You lose your little shell. And we get our shell back if we make that that particular beat after the attack. Oh! I think I screwed up that beat a little bit, but. I really prefer when- ah, oh, dang it. There we go. Um, would rhythm games punish you by not giving you the best score instead of being like, hey, sorry, you, you can't play the game anymore. No, I, I'm just gonna kill you. It, it was really weird, like, playing one of those, like, cutesy Miku games. It's like, no, you're not good enough. I'm sorry, you can't play my game anymore. It's like, oh, thanks. All right, level two. I have not actually beaten this one, so this might be bad. I, I was meaning to play more, and I was meaning to have this game or this video out earlier today, but I ran out of time. I was doing so much stuff. I, I can't. I wanted to get streaming working again. And that took kind of all my day yesterday. And a couple hours today. Okay, I might not be able to talk as much this level. Damn. Just that slight bit of visual feedback. I actually kind of like how... If you screw up in this game, unless you lose your shell, it's not really a huge punishment. The game isn't really all about punishing you. It's more reward than... Then you know, it's more carrot than stick. It's kind of surprising for Rhythm Hell, but... It's so interesting, it's this, you know, super hostile aesthetic and vibe, but... Also very... Chill at the same time. Like... The game's not trying to be mean to you. Like, you're in a hostile world, but not in a hostile game, I would say, like... At least so far. Maybe it gets super crazy hard, but... Oh! I don't think the tutorial showed up like it did the first time I played. Unless I wasn't watching for it. But yeah, there's something we can do about that. I was expecting to be, you know, spoon fed, but yeah, you just, you just hold up when that's a thing. Like that. Also, this is a nice visual feedback on whether you're going to survive a, uh, the ramp. You know, when you need to do the fast turn, they turn blue instead of blinking red when you're gonna hit it right. I also like that you can hold certain actions you can hold early, and it's not, there's no detriment to your score. This multitasking tends to be the death of me in rhythm games. Oops. I kind of wish rhythm games would have just an option to unlock on content. Because some of us are bad, some of us like music, we like rhythm games in theory, but we're not very good. And I'll admit, I'm not very good at rhythm games. You know, but my focus is more like bullet hell games. That's where, you know, more of my higher end skill is. Um, I still want to see all of the game, you know? It's so freaking rude when a game won't even let you finish a song. And this game does have health, so I mean, it is kind of like that, but I haven't... I don't know. I haven't felt insulted by this game yet, like I have by some other rhythm games. Kind of surprised that was a B. Kind of messed some things up. How can you not love these visuals? It's so good. It's freaking beautiful. This is what I want to see in VR. People are like, oh, you can't make the new Call of Duty in the VRs. You know, you can't have that amazing high-quality brown grass texture in VR. It's not worth it. It's like, no, I want this. I want this in VR. Give me this. Give me the crazy surreal shit. Give me 
give me worlds that I cannot experience. I can experience brown grass. Just I can just go outside right now. Oh frick, I messed that up. Um Oh ow. Messing up lots of things suddenly. Dang it. See, you get that you get that red light that says like, hey, you, you missed a beat. But it's not like, hey, I'm gonna kill your family because you missed that beat. It only kills your family if you do that on boss or like certain other things. Crap. Yeah. Boss. Oh, dang. Ouch, okay. See, that came slower. I think, I'm pretty sure that's because I screwed up the first time. So it's like, hey, it's having some mercy on you. But if you're doing well, there's no mercy. Which, you know... At least I think that's how that worked. Basically my first time experience on this, so I'm kind of guessing. That's another thing I think- oh. Yeah, I didn't complete a hit, so I uh... And it doesn't make you redo the whole level. You only do the section. Dang, that's a long combo to get off a shot. Huh? I was jumping. So for the bosses, basically all you have to do is not fail two attacks in a row, and damn it, like I just did. And it should be alright. Like I said, this is my first time. Oh dang, only halfway through the level. Uh oh. I never said that it was an easy game. Nobody says that it's an easy game. Uh, it's a chill, like, I don't feel bad about losing in this. I feel very frustrated losing in certain rhythm games. This game has never really frustrated me, which that's an important aspect of a difficult game. It's entirely possible like a hard game that is not frustrating. It's entirely possible like a frustrating game that is not hard in a good, meaningful way. I'm not good at timing that one. Where are my heals? I figured I was always get a heal after an attack. Which is why I'm dying now. Maybe not. Okay, I guess you gotta perfect it.
See, sometimes you just gotta memorize a bit, get used to what's going on. Once it's flashing red, that means one more hit. It's mixing itself up a little bit. There you go! <laughs> Figured it'd be dead. Aw, oh, frick. Get a little over-eager for those heal ones, if I didn't need healing that time. Yeah, you can expect some more PSVR, well, some PSVR content to begin with. Um, starting Friday, maybe. Might take a bit more than, like, I might take a day to get used to all the stuff. I'm probably not going to be, like, doing first impressions VR. I want to, it'll literally be my first time ever trying VR. Um, uh, I was pretty sure I want this, but, uh, I figured worst case, it's a super rare item. Um, it's sold out no matter how many units the store seems to have. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to sell it if, for, you know, what I paid. If, damn it, I'm talking again. If I really want to sell it, and I really don't think it's going to be a problem, I, VR seems like made for me. Ah, oh, dang it. I'm going to blame also that on the talking. Yes. I'm not sure about VR streams, though. Like, how would you even... Like, cause I wouldn't be able to see chat, but yeah, v VR streams probably not gonna happen anytime soon. But I'm I'm super interested to check out the line the launch lineup. And this is on Vive VR too. Like I said, this is on PC and PS4. Um, I would play just whatever you prefer to play on, or whatever you're gonna get VR on. Cause this game does not have any performance issues at all on PS4 that I've seen. I mean, I'm only two levels in, but I mean, silky smooth thus far. And like I said, 90 FPS on PSVR, that's that's great news. Oh, and so I don't have to answer a billion questions. Um, Sony has odd. Talking again. Sony has this big FAQ for, um... Oh, perfect turns are a score thing. I'm not sure if that just means not taking damage, or like... You gotta start it right before it. So I've never played a rhythm game with music like this. Like, I really like the music, and it's like... It's exactly what you expect from the atmosphere, but it's not like, you know... And that's something you can never really replicate with, you know, a, oh, you play your own music sort of game. I mean, th there's, a there's space for those too. But, um... To really sell a mood, you gotta kinda, you gotta have curated music. And this is like... Like, the music just so perfectly fits the world. Like, it's just... Like I said before, this is exactly what I wanted for VR. I wanted these surreal, really interesting worlds that, uh... You can't get, you know, around, you know, in, in the real world. Like, I don't want just my plain old green grass, blue sky. I want crazy shit. Aw. Oh, crazy, painful shit. Yeah, I let go of the- Ah, oh, I didn't heal. I stopped leaning into the curve, and apparently that does hurt you. Which, it, it, it should, really. So, yeah. Ah, oh, cool. They're like bones. Yeah. 
This is another one of those double taps. My brand's like, huh? And yeah, when I play later, I'll I'll make sure I've played whatever level I'm gonna play. Like, I just I wanted to get out of the video for this pretty soon, and I just did not have time to really prepare. I even have another video I want to record tonight. It's 9:23 p.m. and I I have another video to record. This is not usually what I do on Mondays, but I've just been really strapped for time. I was the stream stuff just totally ruined my mood over this weekend, so I just could not get anything done. Uh, I hate dealing with technical issues. I oh. if I could ever afford a secretary, emailing people and um, dealing with technical issues would be the things that I would want to pay people for for me to not have to do. I want to play my video games and I want to I want to talk about them critically and I want to share them with cool people like you, my friend. And uh, that's what I wouldn't do. I video editing is all right, but I just do it cuz it's kind of necessary. I don't think I would ever want to be a video editor as like my only job, like editing videos that I had nothing to do with myself beyond editing. Like, editing other people's footage, I don't think I would ever want to do that. I mean, maybe if it was really good pay and it enabled me to do this more. Like, if I could do it as a side job, supplement myself, and just, you know, do what I like to do even more, sure. But I mean, that's a job, not a passion sort of thing. S rank. Level 2 Omega. Let's do this. You know, Omega is so much cooler than Z. You never see somebody be like, I mean, Z is pretty cool though. That's the thing. Omega is so much better, even though Z, Z and X are pretty cool letters. But Omega just has that oomph to it. But uh, I guess anything exotic kind of has that sort of feel to it. It's like how, it's kind of like how English becomes a thing. It just feels, aw, oh, centipede legs. Oh, I got so distracted by the centipede legs. I, I forgot I was playing a video game. <laughs> All that and talking. I was so busy talking and enjoying the intermission, I like forgot there's like a video game in here. There you go. Boop. I want nightmares like this. My nightmares are usually not this fun. I try to write down my nightmares if they're interesting. God damn it. Um, never had a nightmare quite like this though. I don't. I don't think I would want to wake up. At least not immediately. More video games should be like really fun nightmares. God damn it. I'm never expecting that. I'm never expecting the Spanish Inquisition, and then it happens. See it. There we go. I also like that you can flub, like you can do an early jump, and I don't think it counts against you. Like, I'm not sure, maybe it, maybe it lowers your score. I haven't noticed it drop my thing. But I kind of like it when you're not, like, when literally anything wrong does not necessarily mean, you know, take a hit or something. Wait, maybe? Oh! Okay. I did not expect that to be the end. Well! This is really enjoyable tension in this game. Like, I don't feel frustrated. It's like... Yeah, it just... It's tension. It's not... It doesn't feel entirely stressful. It definitely doesn't feel frustrating. It's just tense. But you never feel like... I never feel, like, super stressed out. Maybe I will later on. <laughs> yeah, it's only level two. But, uh... When I'm dying, I'm not like, Oh, I hate this game! You know, and I never... Like, a lot of people will play games like that. But I'm not I'm not one of those people to be like, 
you know, oh, throw my controller. I hate this game. I hate all these people, blah, blah, blah. And then you just sit back down 15 minutes later and play it. If I don't like a game, or if a game is ticking me off, I, I just gotta stop. I, I can't, I don't want, I don't have time for that. Even if I did not, like, even if it didn't bother me, I just don't have time to play games I don't enjoy. That's why all my coverage tends to be positive. If I'm not really enjoying a game, I tend to just stop recording or don't ever think to record it, you know? Um, yeah, I try to keep a nice, chill, positive atmosphere on my channel. You know, contrast to the whole angry gamer ordeal. Yeah, that's, that is Thumper for today. Um, I'll probably check it out maybe a couple later levels in uh, VR once I have my stuff and I have some time to do so. And yeah, that's on PS4 and PC. You can play it in VR and not VR. This was, of course, the not VR version. It's not... Like, it's not first person in VR. Like, um, I'm pretty sure it's like, you know, same perspective. There's this idea that everything has to be first person VR. It's not really true. It's the most obvious way to make VR work. But uh, it can be interesting to be, you know, a third party actor or like, you know, on, uh, like, it's more of an on rails thing, you know, like, like Star Fox. Anyway. Um. I, I'm distracted because I had a very amusing, um, tab open after my stream. I was, I put on some Knuckles memes, and anyway, that's not relevant. Um. But yeah, this has been Thumper.